Hello everyone, welcome to this week's healing session. We're gonna do today a tarot inspired session. It's been a while since the last one. I'm gonna use the soul card stick. But before we get right into the session, I have a announcement to make. Today's video, I'm happy to announce that I'm releasing a meditation today. And it's not just any meditation, it's the meditation that I used to get rid of my tinnitus that I got diagnosed with back in 2021 and the doctors told me you might as well just learn how to live with it because there's no chance to do anything about it. And I'm not someone that lets myself be discouraged that easily, especially because I already had it for like a month ongoing. It was so much torture at this point that I said, no way, I'm not gonna just sit and accept it. We're gonna do something about it. So I stumbled across a meditation that was already pre-existing that came from the CIA experiment that they did on spirituality and the mind itself there, it's a whole public document they I don't remember if they shut it down or just lost interest about it but yeah I kind of like from what I heard from another content creator took the meditation and gave it a little bit my own twist and I felt really the call to, to release it now in April, even though I wanted to release it like around summertime. So here you have it. This meditation will help you alleviate, soothe, improve your health. You can basically decide what it is. It's kind of like universal in a way. There's no specific intention set in the meditation. You guys choose that. I also infused it with some Reiki to make it even a little bit more of a booster effect as well. Along with the Reiki, it will just help amplify your intention and subliminals in the background, just regular overall umbrella terms and affirmations that are like, my body's healthy, my body always recovers quickly, my body heals itself every single day. That stuff just for our subconscious to get used to it. So I have it in the description box down below, it's on my Patreon shop, you don't have to be a member, just need a email address where you can then download it too. I'm so excited to share it with you because I know it helped me a lot. I was able to get rid of my issue completely. I'm not gonna claim here that because I don't wanna get sued. But it would definitely bring a lot of relief to you, whatever it is that you're battling with. And I'm so excited for you guys to finally have it as well. And yeah, basically say and claim health as your birthright, how it was always meant to be. So I would love also to hear some feedback from you guys either in the comment section or in the community tab i'm gonna upload it there as well the announcement just you know to hear what miracles you have been creating for yourself so thank you for always listening to me and letting me do this for you and create um new tools that you can use to your advantage if you really like my energy and the way I teach things or the healing sessions, you can work with me on one-on-one -on -one sessions or you can get my other products, which everything is also linked down below. Or if you want to see more content, I have a Patreon as well where you can subscribe to. Let's get into the session. I pulled for our collective is the chariot card.
card we're gonna be working on four different energies today the first one being movement chariot card tells us anytime something in our life is happening whenever we can expect not being stuck anymore and everything just slowly moving falling into place the here I set the intention that for you it doesn't feel like an abrupt start sometimes we have nothing going on and then it feels like everything happening at once just like a really cozy ride along I would say we're gonna be soothing any anxiety you may feel sometimes we ask for a change but then it happens and then we can get spooked or anxious because we are getting ripped out of our comfort zone a little bit That's gonna help you and prepare you to feel ready for this movement. For some of you it might already have started, for others of you it's just right around the corner. So we're just gonna be settling your energy. So I want to focus here real quick on your chakra points. We're just going to make the energy that passes from one to the other smoother. Because you are in a different energetic alignment right now. That's why this movement is coming into your life. And just making sure that nothing is blocked right now. That everything can continue to flow. Spending that out into the universe. It's receptive. We can see that you actually want this movement to happen, this change.
just gonna be really pulling into your energy and make you really really magnetic so that it's easy for you to attract okay. what it is that you need for this change feel that for some of you this eclipse season makes it possible for you to know exactly what you need to pull towards you with your energy kind of like I feel like this eclipse season we just had was kind of like a initiation process for a lot of us to just kind of like have no excuse anymore to go after what it is that you told yourself at the beginning of the year that you want to achieve. We're going to be doing a little bit of color cutting around our mind because another part is control. And here, I, from personal experience, what I've noticed over the last week, I've been shifting quite a lot of my energy and how I attract things. And there are times where literally my ego wants to come up and it's just like check the results, check the 3D, check this, check that see if it's really moving, moving if things really are changing and that's not operating from faith that's more from a lack basis and I, the only thing you can control is like your inner state how do you feel and that's what I wanna kind of like do here as well that instead of feeling like you need to change or like control your outer reality the, the self is where you need to change first do you get anxious if you don't see any movement okay what can you do to regulate your nervous system we're gonna do first a little bit of record cutting so like those limiting beliefs that um, control addictness I would say because most of the time it's that that you feel like you never had control over your life and now that you learned about this world now that you learned about manifestation, love, assumption or whatever it might be you get into this control type again because you're like I can change everything so I want it to be like exactly the way I want it to be and that's not really going with the flow you know so I'm gonna do a little bit of a cut cutting using big scissors like this but the other ones the smaller ones are kind of like rusty and I don't like that <laughs> to work on energy and my hairdresser scissors don't make noise when they cut so I need a little bit of like the ASMR aspect in here so even though they are really ugly <laughs> I'm gonna get some pretty scissors for our sessions <laughs> Just cut everything. That's kind of like been bothering you.
I think I'm gonna go also on the root chakra because most of the time when we feel this need to control everything it might be because we don't feel stable enough focus on the mind area again just to be sure that we didn't miss anything Gonna clear your mind. Help it understand, especially the subconsciousness and our shadow self, that the only thing we need to control is our inner state and our emotions. There's nothing to control in the outside reality. It is barely a reflection of the self so if you see behavior from people that you don't like ask yourself why what does this remind me of you see circumstances so that work loosely on the ground take this as an inspiration of what do you need to change within first I had a talk with my friend from America that even the people that you just encounter on the street that you gotta observe their behaviors because even though they don't seem important to you in that moment they can actually show you and reflect back how do you feel internally so when you have a good day it seems like everyone is having a good day because everyone's smiling at you, everyone's greeting you probably the same goes for when you feel like you have a really bad or like a shitty day basically everyone seems rude and just you know mean and everyone keeps to themselves that's because that's how you feel maybe you know basically the outer reality is your mirror that you need to look from an observation point to hint you basically still like this needs to be a little bit tweaked and this a little bit and that's what you can control not everything you see around yourself trying to change everyone when you change everyone around you changes as well kind of like a little bit like the law of correspondence i would say you know as above so below type of deal Which is determination and I feel like this goes really hand in hand with 
the reprogramming because you gotta be really determined to catch yourself in specific thoughts and realize how quickly they can manifest actually I'm gonna use a tiger sign in a way I want to use this the same way as the name itself says you know we're gonna use the precise sight on our goals on what we need to change I'm going to focus the crystal on top of your eyes now to help you see beyond our usual perception and immediately when you observe something in the outer reality and it seems strange to you instead of dismissing it and being like what the hell, what was that? I want you to be able to realize like this is what the reality is trying to teach me and show me that I need to change on. Soften that connection from the mind and the spiritual self to be able to see the bridges between your 3D reality and your spiritual reality or like your inner internal reality. So you can see exactly what it is that you need to change internally. So let's help you keep the focus on your goals and desires and not be in a way kind of like ah oh, this sucks why does this not change why does this always keep the same pattern happening and then over and over for you to just wake up and be like okay this needs to change i will focus on this instead and that way you achieve it so much easier and with less resistance
next one and last intention for today is going into the unknown and here I want to focus it as well on the same kind of like topic that you don't know what's gonna happen in the next hour and that's maybe why your brain wants you to go into the old mindset, the old belief system, the old story, the old limiting beliefs because it's comfortable, because it's predictable, because it knows what is happening that way it can prevent not a disaster from happening but it's just easier to avoid specific things and the, the new storyline, the way the things you're operating from now or like you should operate from like this new way of thinking to the brain is so foreign and so out of comfort that it feels like it's struggling and here it's kind of like deepening the faith maybe helping you as if you have like a little bit of like a support service dog but it's just you know the energy of the lipidolite <laughs> you know a different analogy to use i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah we're gonna use this lipidolite which is a really highly spiritual crystal because it is connected to the third eye but as well as the crown chakra actually instead of like focusing on your own energetic energy I'm gonna focus on the two chakras opening here up or when you get like knowledge from the universe kind of like a download I sometimes feel it like tingling on my third eye on top of the crown chakra now Making the connection to one chakra to the other much, much smoother. When I don't like expand that connection from one to the other. Finishing up with a R of love. I hope you enjoyed the session. That you feel a little bit more ready on this new direction that you're going. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye everyone.